It is mutual. Extend your hands toward me. I need your anointing for the next hour. You're not going to need it. We summon the fountains of the deep with the activating voice of God that we go beyond breakthrough and we begin to establish the word of God with the word of faith that is already nigh thee, even in our mouth. Father, in the name that is above everything that's got a name, we release divine miracles and divine resources. You cannot be ordinary. You cannot. I forbid you to be ordinary. I forbid you to be ordinary. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to God. Please be seated, but be sure it's in heavenly places. I'm delighted to have the opportunity and the privilege to be here. I've met so many of you. Oh, it's so good to see you, Dr. Fluid. I said, yes, it's better to be seen than to be viewed. Um, <laughs> that um, I've, I've had a little opportunity since the last time I saw you where I don't believe in sickness, I don't believe in poverty, I don't believe in any of that stuff that I had the opportunity to experience. But um, <laughs> how, how many of you, you know that a person with an experience becomes more valuable than a person that only has the doctrine? So God in his mercy, he establishes a truth and he says, you got this? And I say, yeah, I got this. And then he goes, dum, 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 dum. <laughs> and we have to decide who's got who. Do I have him or does he have me? So in, in the midst of this, I was sharing the luncheon yesterday and I just want to tell you this also that uh, I, I did have to have surgery, I had to have a hip replacement. And so the night before the surgery, I, I said, listen, body, in the morning, hips go into heaven. And she's really done a great job. Hip was about 74, 75, 78. She's done a good job. And I said, but she's going to go and she's going to meet Sister Tonsils and Sister Appendix. And <laughs> Sister, I've been going to heaven one piece at a time for an extended <laughs> period of time. I need some musicians, glory to God, hallelujah. I'll tell you for sure, we can go from a 30-fold to a 100-fold real quick like. Um, so I just want you to know, you need to be able to talk to your body, and I told my body, I said, in the morning, when hip goes to heaven, there's going to be another part, it's gonna call, ha. It's gonna be called Sister Titanium. Now, she doesn't look like us, and I said, our body is now going through, we fill up that which is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, and immigration is a real problem. That If you don't look like me or act like me, I'm not going to let you in. But I want you suckers to know something. If you don't let titanium in, you never walk again. So <laughs> there's some things going on. We're filling up that which is lacking in the sufferings of Christ in our own body. Can you say, that's me? Praise the Lord. I want you to get yourself in a position to make a decision. Now, a decision is not a conversion, but until you make a decision, a conversion can't take place. Does that make sense? Now, try to just, I'm going to go fast because I don't want you really to understand what I'm saying. <laughs> I want you to get home and say, oh, how did that happen? You know, praise God. Now, before you leave here, I want you to understand you are independently wealthy. It is the will of God that you owe no man, no woman, anything except to love them. Amen. That you carry dignity. You carry God. You are a God house. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So you are surrounded by royalty, and you need to open your eyes and see who's sitting next to you because here comes Jesus in a form you may not be familiar with. You... You've got to understand, to have events like this, when we come together, we literally come to cross-pollinate, and we find new dimensions. Just go ahead and find me anywhere you want to, Steve. <laughs> Glory to God. I've got so many ways. One of them going to make you really happy. Praise God. It is the will of God for you to make things happen. 
He said, well, God, just fall on me. He ain't falling, he's flowing. So all of you that have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, you know what we learned yesterday? We learned from Sister Katie that God really gets excited about worship. And in worship, he melts metal. And angels run in here and get the yippee ki yays and we get healed, thrilled, chilled, and filled. So we found out worship creating an atmosphere conducive for the power, the deutimus, and the exousia of God to flow out of Zion, the dwelling place of God. That's one of the keys. And we found out another thing, a wonderful thing. 30 is a number that is indicative of maturity. Boy, am I mature. And so when we begin to understand, a thousand is a millennium. So I said to Patricia, I said, Patricia, if you just tell me. As the one that has been set in to administrate the estate of God in this particular way, I have been sent here to serve the purpose of God. So tell me, O oh prophetess, what is the desire of your heart? What is the desire of your heart? What do we need to pay the bills? What do we need to hold things still? Let's make it steady in Jesus' name. And I said, now all you got to do, proclaim. Who would agree with God? Who would agree with God? So we're just gonna put up here on the overhead the opportunity because we learned from Katie yesterday that the way you really move on the heart of God is give. Now, I want you to understand that <laughs> when you begin to look, I have had so many opportunities to experience varying degrees of life. As I stand before you here today, most of you know I'm 78 years old and I'm really excited about it because every time a part of my body just sides <laughs> It wants to go to heaven. I'll just send it there and get a new one. We've Those of you that have been around a while and you're hurting and aching and things like that, don't be dismayed. What is about to take place on the face of the earth that you're going to be sitting behind some little old gray-headed lady. You can look and you say, well, I thought her hair was gray. Now it's turning brown. Now it's turning black. And you begin to see somebody that weighed 400 pounds come out looking like, whoo, what happened to her? You're going to begin to see a limitless God that's moving and restoring and establishing that's going to cause your pocketbook to begin to say, I didn't, I couldn't pay my bills and now I don't know what to do with all this money. Limitless. Turn to your neighbor and agree. The blood of the lamb, well, he set me free. I'm not worried, no, no, no. I said, Lord, let your rivers flow. Supernatural, supernatural, that's my name. Supernatural, supernatural, that's my game. Tell everybody that you see the hope of glory, he's in me. You've got to know it in the depths of your heart. Here, here, are you ready to start? A limitless God in this house. You've got a miracle in your mouth. If you've ever given, do it today. Listen to the word of God, the great Yahweh. Nothing is impossible for you to do. Nothing is impossible for you to do. So to the Lord, miracles true. Listen to the word, it's time to do. If I were you, I truly would give. If I were you, I really would live. I'd be saying now is the time. Oh my God, you're awesome and divine. Who would agree with God? Who would agree with God? Moving now to another dimension. Don't you understand? That's his intention. You came here now in this time. You're not ordinary, you're awesome and divine. Who would agree with God? Who would agree with God? Now there's 30 of you sitting in your seat and you're saying now, Lord, should I compete? I am waiting for the Lord to say, I feel your breathing right away. If you're now needing to feel led, let me tell you, that's instead. All you got to do is move by faith. Get yourself now in this holy race. Who would agree with God? 
who would agree with God. You've got the power to flourish in this day, and all you got to do is give God away. Who would agree with God? Come here. Who would agree with God? You've got a way. Listen, it's true. Think like a champion. Have come brand new. Who would agree with God? Who would agree? Now, if you've been living in a hindering life, it's your traditions that make the Word of God to no effect. So in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, I come and I smite. I smite these traditions, and I say, you're going to live an unhindered life. God bless you. Now, from the top of your head to the sim, let me tell you something. Right now, you are chosen. Here we go, darling. Praise God. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Who wants to make something happen? See, we've been, we've been waiting on God to fall, and he says, I'm not falling, I'm flowing. Who's ready to activate and ratify and open up and prophesy? Who's ready to say, with God, all things are possible? Hallelujah. Given it shall be given. Full measure, press them. I'm, listen, I'm looking for fire starters. I'm not looking for ordinary. I'm looking for fire starter. Glory to God. So... So, 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 you are so, so's. Oh, now, this book called Ridiculous Miracles this is about healing the sick, raising the dead, and it's not theories. These are actually experiences. I have a child, listen to me, I have a child, she cut her finger off, and God grew a new bone, new finger, new fingernail. We had the other one. We had 11 fingers. What we have here, I have a man that dropped dead, and God raised him from the dead. So many things. My son was burned, third-degree burns all over his body and left blind in eight hours. It was not a mark on his body. Who wants to go limitless? Who wants to go limitless? Who wants to go limitless? I'm telling you what, religious traditions of the mind of man, they will not cause you to stand in this day. You say, I am a miracle worker. it and get it done. Praise God. Now, hallelujah. This is for you. I love musicians. I love musicians. Now, this is the secrets of my prayer life, which is incredibly wonderful. Now, let me tell you about me. I owe no man anything except to bless him. I got more money than I know what to do with. You can only give away what you got. I know about money, and I'm not ashamed of it, amen? And what I've come to do is to activate that avenue of revenue, because I know what it is not to have it. I've been poor, and I've been rich, and believe me, I know which is which, and I'd rather be rich. How many of you want to be rich? Rest of you liars, put your hands up. It is the will of God that you prosper. Not for you, but that you can heal the sick and raise the dead and cast out devils. But you need to be able to feed the hungry. You need to be able to clothe the naked. You need to be able to do things to help people get established in business. You need to be entrepreneurial. Women, make the best business people in the world. Come on, come on, praise God. Hallelujah. There it is, praise God. You may be seated. Now, you're going to see, um, I'm going to ask you wonderful people in the sound booth, put up here, make checks payable to PKM, then continue to those wonderful people who are online. We're so excited, ignited and delighted to have you in our presence. Mwah, we love you. You make us happy. Happy clappy, praise God. And we want... To, Text to give, text the word PKM and go to the number 77977. Now you're not gonna be able to remember that, but it will, look at this. Now, while we're, while I'm waxing eloquent and telling you wonderful stories that will cause your heart to burn with the desire to serve God. You know, I was receiving an offering and the power of God came upon the place. Oh my goodness, I had a budget that was just, Exorbitant. I didn't know how I was going to make it. We had about 1,500 people there. I said, oh, my God, my God, my God, my God. It's me again. That was before. 
It was before I knew it was finished. Selah. I used to beg and plead. Before I knew all I had to do is decree. I didn't know it. But I was saying, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. God, listen, Lord. This is what we need to do. I need a breakthrough. I need an acceleration. I need an increase. I mean, I had blisters on my tongues. You hear me? I would. I had worn that thing like that. And all the time, I think I'm act, asking for money, and I'm praying, God, increase the faith of God in me. Let me understand. I'm already in this room. I'm trying to get in. So, we're receiving an offering. Listen. I've got 27 speakers I've got to pay. i got buildings I have to pay for. And I said, I owe, I owe, so off to praise I go. <laughs> and we come in, and the spirit of giving was in the place. It was wonderful. The musicians were doing wonderful things. And people gave. And we had these big, big barrels, and people were running. Y'all, listen. People gave everything. They gave their shoes. One lady gave her girdle. I'm telling you, they gave it all. They gave it all, and it was just packed down. I said, oh, my God, I love you. I love you. Oh, Lord, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Like that. And there's this one man standing back in the back, and he's looking at his jacket like it, it was the baby Jesus. And the Lord says, if he puts his jacket in that offering, everything that is his. And I said, go away. Go away. Go now. Shoo, shoo. And, 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 and you know, Hallelujah. And people are crying and giving and everything. And I mean, it was just so wonderful. And here he comes down the aisle. I think, oh, nuts. You know, here he comes. Hallelujah. And he gets and he stands over the basket. And he lays baby Jesus in the offering. And I knew if I, if I give one minute to think about this, I'm done for. I mean, it will not work. And I said, stop. And he comes up. And I said, God spoke to me that if you gave your jacket, that everything in the offering belonged to you. And he says, what? And he was from Africa, from a place called Gabon. He was about 22 years old. He was going to Christ for the nation. He had never seen charismatic, on fire, ignited sight, wonderful artists flowing and banners going and people yippee ki -yay and all over the place. And he was terrified in that but he had pressed through everything, and he put his coat there, which left me poor. <laughs> but I knew if I, if I thought about it, if I thought about my gift, if I think about it, listen, if you get to thinking about your gift, doubt is the spirit of the Antichrist, and Antichrist didn't mean against Christ. That's not Jesus' last name, y'all. Christ means the anointed. And the devil is against anything that's anointed instead of. That's the thing what doubt does. Doubt, doubt, reason is doubt in disguise. So I can't think about when the Lord says, I want you to write a check for $20,000. I want you to write this. And I say, I can't think about that. Let me just write this thing out now. And what I find out is before I get home, whew, 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 it keeps growing and it keeps growing. I don't know where it's coming from and I don't care. But I have found the secret to it. And if I can share anything with you, oh, you, God says, you want to make a deal? You can try to outgive me. I, had, I got mad at this man. Don't forget about the coat. Hold on there. I can chew gum and walk at the same time. I got mad at this man. He took $20,000 of my money. It's a business deal. I don't lose. But I lost big with him. And, and we were together all the time. We're working in the same format together. He, oh, Clarice, oh, wonderful man. And my insides are going, you owe me money. <laughs> and I kept on, and, and it, it, it just, he ignored the fact. And he had more money than there was. There was no need for him to do that to me, and except to test my charity, to check test within me. If there's something gnawing at you, whether it's money, whether it's relationship, whether it's he said, she said, well, they did this to me, they did that to me. I talked to somebody last night and I said, I'm going to tell you something. You just do, handle this situation however you want to do, but only, 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 only through pride, only 
Strife and contention only come through pride. There's no other reason. So somebody's got some stinking pride in this situation. Why don't you be magnanimous and choose the better portion? And I'm telling you, the Spirit of God moved on that person. And she said, you're absolutely right. It's nothing but pride. And she says, I love this person so much, I can't believe. I can't believe this happened. And I saw healing because hearts change. When a heart's change, well, Dr. Tandy, my wonderful assistant, who drives me completely nuts because she's perfect. <laughs> I make no claim to perfection. And um, she, she says, why don't you forgive him? I said, well, why don't you just go in the other room? You know, just uh, while, while we're talking about this here. And what he did is wrong. And she says, well, you're the one that says, don't eat from the tree of the right, whether it's right or wrong, eat from the tree of life. Da, da, da. You know, don't you just love it when somebody's giving you all your words back? Don't you just love that? I love it. It's just like eating a cactus. <laughs> And she said, the way you know you, you have forgiven him, you just turn it loose. And so I was seeing him the next day and I said, hi there, how are you doing? He said, oh, it's so good to see you. I just love you so much. And I'm thinking, mm -hmm. I said, about our business deal, I just want you to know I love you and I forgive you. Don't, don't ever consider it again. He said, okay. I mean, he had no intentions of thinking about it anyway. I mean, you know, it was, and I'm saying, uh-uh, don't go there. Don't go there, because I was waiting for him to fall on his face and say, have mercy, oh man, I did you wrong. No, no, he didn't do that. He just said, if you need any more advice, call me. And I thought, I tell you, yeah, I got your number here. But um, I went to this, went to this meeting, it was, and we were having dinner in this really dark restaurant couldn't see too good and this woman walked over I've never seen her in my life and she said I watch your videos and she said you've just changed my life I just love you so much and God's blessed me and I just oh thank you so much I appreciate that and she just put it she says here's a gift and I said thank you so much and I didn't even look at it and we were just talking and I figured 10 15 dollars something like that And she said, maybe you want to look at that. And I opened it up, and it was $20,000. Now, right now, in the authority of the name of Jesus, whose sins I forgive are forgiven. So if you have sins of unforgiveness, if you've not been able to forgive yourself, if you've not been able to understand that in order to have the breakthrough that you need to walk in the fullness of what God has, you cannot go around being angry at somebody or being hurt or wounded. It will hurt you more. I'm telling you something. I just, I, I was just saying, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Lord, I know that knowledge of a thing is not possession of it. I know about push-ups. I don't do many. So you just... <laughs> And we think because we've heard it so many times, oh, I, I, I do that, I, I forgive. But I took that check and I thought, this means so much more than $20,000. This means so much more. It means shut up. <laughs> God has it all, y'all. I'm telling you, you just, you just come on. You just cannot afford an attitude apart from the Word of God. Can, can we understand that? So these things are so significant and important. So it, it, when I began to realize that, I go back to giving away all my money at the meeting with the guy with the jacket, 22 years old and doesn't know anybody nothing. I got 27 speakers looking at me. You know, it's... And I said, have you received the baptism of the Holy Spirit since you've become a Christian? I don't know what that is. I said, okay. Father, in Jesus' name, baptize him in the Holy Ghost. Well, the guy passed out, rolled around on the floor, spoke in tongues. I mean, it was like low-hanging fruit, y'all. I'm telling just. <laughs> and he left, and I left, and my husband said, have you completely lost your mind? I said, no, but I'm working on it. Because I... <laughs> 
I believe, I believe if I just go ahead and lose my mind, I'll get a new one. I believe I'll get a new one. I'll think with this mind that it's in Christ. Amen. It is so, so, oh, it's so good. So years go by, and 2 o'clock in the morning, the phone rings, and this man says, Mama, Mama. And I said, Yes. And he says, You know, this is your son from Gabon. He says, You give me the money. And he says, I go. And he says, Now we have 1,200 churches. Let your seed do the walking. If that doesn't make you want to get up and sow right now, if that doesn't make you want to say, I got to put some more money, I got to plant into, if this is good dirt, if this is good dirt, if this is good dirt, no soba shika tora bakasa, keep it, keep it. Makoba hasin gedeniya tora bakasata. Surely, surely the word of God, listen to me, listen to me. I prophesy vast amounts of wealth to be released today from the room and say, I prophesy, this is not ordinary, I prophesy, I unearth vast riches of hidden treasure. You need money to do what you need to do. You need money. Turn it loose. Turn it loose. I'm calling the thousand. I'm calling the thousand. Listen, change your mind about your giving. This is the word of the Lord. I will create fresh, creative ways to gain wealth. That's what the Word of God says. Fresh, creative ways to gain wealth. Fresh, creative ways to gain wealth. 